Hello, I'm the Twit Gamer, and we're going to be doing a let's play of Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk. Now, this game, I've, I've seen it mentioned here and there on Nisa's channel and on Twitter, etc. But it's like, it's sort of like, I, it almost came out of nowhere. I've seen bits, and that's about it. So it's like, I'm really, pretty much going into this blind. It's just, it's a new Nisa game, so let's go have a look at it. That's pretty much my plan with this. We'll go see what it's about. But I've already sorted the options, etc. So let's let's jump into this and see what awaits us. Welcome to the Dusk Theater. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're about to embark on an adventure filled with strange, wondrous happenings. And at the heart of this adventure, there resides a mysterious book. All shall unfold before your eyes. Together, we will see this story to its end. So it begins. I was going to say it doesn't, it was loading. Eastern Gate? Hmm. Here we are, the town of Refrain. Yes, it looks very familiar with its setup, doesn't it? It's very sort of like Witch in the Hundred Night Disgaea style. Wow! Look, Madam Junior! Krabbies! Little pinchy Krabbies! Aw, oh, so cute. Freshwater crabs from a nearby brook scuttle to and fro near the little girl's feet. The woman lowers her hood. Her black hair shimmering as it cascades the length of her back, and the little girl does the same. Luca, I thought I told you to stay in the caravan. Get back inside now, or I'll turn you into a toad. Bit rude, isn't it? Come on now. Ah, no! I don't want to be a toad! I'll go back! I'll go back! I mean a frog, maybe, but a toad? This is why I hate kids. That's why you hate kids? They've done much worse. Dr we'll go with what yeah, Dr Dronia takes out a letter and begins to read it. The broken sealing wax on the letter bears the impression of a crab. <sighs> when you arrive, come to my manor. We have other matters to discuss. Over compared to what? <laughs> This small-town peasant has some nerve to be giving me instructions. <laughs> Who's this? A visitor? In our... town? How rare. Was it you making the sheep noises, drunk shepherd? <laughs> Why, hello, puppet! <laughs> What's a pretty town like you doing in a girl like this? I think you might need a nap, mate. <laughs> Anyways, could you maybe spare some change? No. I already spent all my booze money for today. Huh? Okay. Got a bum leg, do ya? Typical of Nisa games, though, it's like the audio levels are all over the place. It's sort of like I really have to turn down the music even more, I feel. I'm gonna have to change and tweak it in the um, editing section of me making this Let's Play. I'm gonna have to just tweak the audio so we bring up the voices a bit. Because it's like they are very quiet compared to everything else. And I've got it on full. Like the BGM is down to like. Five out of ten, or something like that. Ah, uh, yes. The little newt give you a piggyback tour of our fair town. Hop on, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> what? The shepherd leers at Dronya with a hungry look in his eyes. Newt, was it? I have a sneaking suspicion that you're plenty drunk as it is. I know better than to trust a drunk's memory. Besides, you don't seem quite intelligent enough to be our guide. What'd you say? She says you're thick, mate. 
Perhaps you've merely deluded yourself into thinking you're familiar with this town. That's... well... no, I, I know more than you at least. Do you now? Let's put it to the test. What animal is on the gate? Is that so? Then, do you know where I might find the Well of Kalaza? Next to the river? Yeah, of course. Everyone in Refrain knows about the well. It, it's famous. Yeah, next to the river. Uh, from the town gate, you just walk straight ahead to the western square. So anyways... <laughs> straight ahead? Then I didn't need to ask you at all. We're done here. Oh, and for the record, I can't afford to waste my traveling expenses on drunk shepherds. But you can waste them on just everyday normal shepherds. <laughs> what? You think you can get lippy with me? Just because you got a pretty face and perky knockers? Uh, ah, yeah, it's very perky, very perky. Dronya, I don't know how to say that at all at this point, raises her hand and her eyes glow an eerie crimson. So pink, looking at it, pink. Newt, our business here is finished. Now piss off. Whoa, alright then, it's gonna be one of those type of games. Why you? We're thinking more Witch in the Hundred Night here. Suck a bitch! You ain't even that pretty! This this is some good hiccup acting, though. Hmm? I think we'll get more sense out of the sheep. Oh, it's a lamb. I do apologize. He forgot one of his lambs. What a careless shepherd. Ah! Ah! So be it. Hey, Luca! Here I am, Madam Junior. You called for me? We did. Oh, I like Luca. She's so cute. Take care of this lamb for me. Take care of it? You mean, like a pet? I get to keep it? Really? I suppose. Just make sure it behaves and keep it out of the caravan. <laughs> so damn cute. Come here, Baba. Oh my god. She named it already. <laughs> that child is usually so indecisive. But it, when it comes to sheep, she's not. Huh? Here? Is this the place, Madame Dronia? Dronia. Dronia. Right, got it. And the sheep... Well, the lamb, I do apologize. The, the lamb has a little scarf now. Yes. Our destination is the Well of Kalaza, which resides here in the corner of Refrain's town square. The caravan shall serve as our base of operations, and the prison from which we must send those tedious daily reports. Oh. Now start setting up the caravan campsite and see that you finish before dusk. Okay, I'll get started right away. Just watch. And do not bring that lamb inside the caravan, understood? The only thing I hate more than children is animals. And where are you placing plants on this list? You know, I'm just checking, maybe fungi, well, I just... You know, it's, it's like... There's not much left. Okay then, Baba, you wait here, be good, okay? <laughs> bah. Caravan. Now, to prepare for the expedition. Luca, fetch me the Tractatus de Monstrum. The what? Huh? But, but what about the governor's letter? Eh? The letter said we had to meet him once we got here, right? Shouldn't we do that? <laughs> My time is far too precious to waste on the likes of him. Then why are we even here? All he'll do is prattle on and on while saying nothing of actual importance. Now, if you have time to presume what I should be doing, then begin the preparations. Chop-chop, Luca. 
Lamb chop chop, Luca. Oh, I made myself sad. Oh, hello here. The caravan will serve as your base of operations. Before you face the labyrinth, make sure to take all necessary precautions. Okay. At the moment, only the witch report and record memories facilities are available. When specific conditions are met, you can select which report to view an event and advance the story. Record memories is the save data function. After using it, you can continue exploring from where you left off. From the title screen, select continue, then select the save data that you wish to play. Alright, I got its general save mechanic, got it. More caravan facilities will become available as you advance the story. If you ever need to review something that was explained in a tutorial, Please consult the online manual. You can view the online manual by visiting the content info screen from the home screen. However, you will need an internet connection. Now then, once you've saved your game, please select which report. I need to save. That's part of the tutorial is to save. Does it make sense? Is there no way to actually go to the menu? Alright, jeez, I'm just, just trying to do stuff here. There's no options. No, just save data. Just save data. It's like, alright then, we've got, what's, what's puppets? What are puppets? And the mana, that's clearly taken from Witch in the Hundred Night. Clearly. Anyway, Witch Report. The Rotunda. Is this the well? Well... This appears to be the well of Kalaza. It's inside this Rotunda, to be precise. Alright. But it's locked! That means you're not allowed inside! Isn't that what a lock means? No, 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 that's just for show. I've got this rock here, Th this opens the lock. It's not much of a lock, really. Are you gonna open it with your magic? If you want to call my stone that, sure. Shut up! Keep your voice down! Using two wires, Dronya picked the lock with minimal effort. Breaking and entering? You can't do that, Auntie Dronya! Just stop her. Relax, I'm not bothering anyone. Besides... What did you just call me? Auntie... I mean, are you not? Dronya closed her fist, exposing a prominent pointy knuckle, and bonked Luca on the head. Yowch. You can't! You can't do that! I won't! I won't put up with this, Madame Dronya! What exactly are you going to do about it? <sighs> Must you always cry? Come, the well is waiting for us. Well, well, well. Rumor has it this well is connected to an underground labyrinth. Wait a minute. There's a labyrinth mentioned in the title of the game. That rumor may, in fact, be true. <laughs> I sense a vast amount of magic coming from below. And it's green, so I'm very, very suspicious. It, it looks really old. Are we going down the well? Is that even safe? Have you maybe seen Goonies? Because that might be able to answer your question. For us? No. It's full of miasma down there. That's no place for humans. Oh, is this where the puppets come in? In fact, no human has ever gotten out alive, with one exception. Luca, fetch the Tractatus de Monstrum. The what? Okie dokie, I'll go get it! Let's go, Baba! Oh, Luca is so damn cute! Leave the lamb. Just bring me the book at once. But she needs the lamb. At once. Ah. Indeed. Baba seems attached to Luca. H hey, I gotta work right now. I'll feed you later, but you gotta wait right here, okay? No one has ever gotten out alive. As far as you know. Wait, does that mean they actually come out dead, like undead? Do you become a zombie? Well, 
That's why we have the Tractatus de Monstrum and the puppet soldiers. Let's call them knights, and we'll have a hundred of them. But then only one for some reason. It'll be the hundred knight. <coughs> oh, you don't like that. All right. Hmm. Huh. Did you just... Did you just throw it down the well? The moment Baba looked away, Dronya gave the lamb a firm kick and sent the poor thing tumbling down the well. How horrible. Indeed. Shut up. You'll draw attention to us. Maybe you should have thought of that before kicking the lamb down the well. That sounds like a metaphor for some. Hmm. No sound of impact. Interesting. It must be floating. It can fly. Baba! You killed Baba! You're so mean, Madame Georgia! You're the meanest! The meanest! Indeed. Imagine that when you've got a voice like that. It's like, we want you to say Baba, -ba. right? Several different ways. Okay. Ugh, all this racket over one sheep. Shut up. It's a lamb, actually. I mean, I know a lamb is a sheep, but still. Now, did you bring the book? Throw it in. The book? Tracty. Tracty. Don't give it a nickname. Why? 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 We don't know what'll happen if we throw it in, and uh, I got a bad feeling about this. So do I. <laughs> you only get a bad feeling when you're about to wet the bed. So do I. Uh, what? Give me the book already. The book! Dronya snatches the... Oh, here we go. Tractatus de Monstrum from Luca's hands and drops it down the well. You drop your book. Now, Tractatus de Monstrum. Go forth and conquer the unexplored underground labyrinth of Refrain. Why, why specifically underground? Is there an, un an, an overground one? Obtain the Tracty skill, Nowsing Pendulum. Go forth and explore the labyrinth. Now loading. Still loading. What's with the symbol behind the now loading, though? Oh, hello, we've got a trophy. All right, a wooden puppet springs forth from the Tracatus Monster. The magical energy of the underground labyrinth transforms the wooden puppets into man-sized soldiers. The Jakartus Demonstrum cannot move, but the puppet soldiers can carry it as they explore the labyrinth. I don't know why I said it. Labyrinth. Very strange. It seems Luca named each doll soldier herself. But don't worry about that right now. Let's keep moving. So we've got Crowley, Kermit, Bruce, Arachne, and Ophid. No idea what's going on here. Ooh, we can look around a little bit though. So it's a dungeon crawler, we got that much. This is the entrance to the Labyrinth of Refrain. They say it's filled with wondrous treasures that are guarded by monsters and traps. This, of course, is enticing bait for adventurers. However, it's not, shall we say, wise for humans to enter the Labyrinth. So we'll be sending puppet soldiers to explore instead. Now then, let's begin the exploration. Luca worked really hard to make these puppets, and it would be a shame not to use them. Use the up button or X button to move forward, the down button to move backwards, and the left and right buttons to change direction. On facing a direction, you can sidestep by pressing L2 and R2 buttons, or by pressing circle and the D-pad to the left or right. That'll do. It's really hard to read these things when it's like the symbols. While exploring the labyrinth, you will encounter and fight monsters. 
The enemy radar at the top of the screen will grow red when you approach a monster. Proceed with caution in such instances. Remember to review the online manual if controls are unclear to you, or if you wish to know more convenient ways to play. Why not just tell me? Okay, so we're going forward. Huh. Clearly can't go that way. Let's, let's try the door. It won't open. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. A Nintendo Switch? This is available on Nintendo Switch, by the way. Hello? A blue jewel. Alright. I have to open the door every time. Alright. I'm just gonna end up bumping my head into doors and stuff constantly. Why is the thing at the top that's going backwards and forwards? And what did I get? A, a mugwo mugwort bomb. Look, it's just, just gonna run at the door. We should automatically open the doors. That would be good. All right, what have you got to say? Hello! Let's get started. Your puppet soldiers will battle monsters lurking in the labyrinth. So let's go over the battle system. At the start of battle, you will input commands to your puppet soldiers. Your puppet soldiers are assigned to units called co co covens, covens, co covens, and you will issue commands to each coven. Each coven can have up to three puppet soldiers assigned as attackers. Current covens equal one attacker each. After you're, you've given, after you've commanded each coven, press triangle button to confirm your commands. Then select yes to begin combat. Covens you have not commanded will perform normal attacks when you press triangle to start combat. Okay, reduce all enemies HP to zero to win the battle. If your coven's HP are reduced to zero, you'll be annihilated and sent back to base with penalties. Donum. Donum. Okay. It's crucial for defeating enemies quickly and healing injured allies. Donum is similar to magic and is used by spending DP Donum points. Why is use of offensive Donum and healing Donum? Oh, there's too much Donums. Will help you conquer the underground labyrinth. Remember to use the Fortify Coven and Escape Commands to avoid worst case scenarios. Select Fortify Coven to bolster a Coven's defense, reducing incoming damage from enemies. Select Escape to run away from combat. Pretty straightforward. Alright then, the more battles you fight, the more familiar you'll become with the battle system. Well, I should hope so. Alright, so, use Donum, Instant Aid, so that's just a recovery one. Fortify Coven. So yeah, I was going to just say, it's like, can I undo it? Special orders. Huh. Issue specific orders to this coven. Yes. Just fight. So why is that a special order? Of fight. I was going to say, and I can't pick with fight which one I want, I don't think. Go to the middle one, just see what happens now. Engage! I saw that. I'm coming. Oh, that looked pretty cool. I'm coming. Lovely. That was easy. It's all right. All right then. So seems fairly simple in terms of gameplay so far. Okay, what we got here? The miasma doesn't seem that thick. Expedition group. Okay. So we're looking for like... What were we looking for? Oh, maybe this. Yay. So any of a... Uh... Oh, just wait on standby. R1, what does that do? Still not acquired. Okay, so that's not yet. Um, go through here. Did I get anything for destroying that? Doesn't seem like I did, so what's the point in that? Maybe there'll be stuff in the way in future. What's, what's this say? These onion creatures are worthless. Expedition group. Okay. And destroy the barrel. Oh, there we go. Ah, see, again, you can see it's Witch in the Hundred Knights icons and stuff. Stop. I need to cough in a second. I think that's what's going on. My throat's going dry. There we go. Much better. Add, add a little... Sip of my drink as well. It's going very dry. Oh, there we go. Tutorial. Stun and preparation. You have a small chance of stunning enemies whenever you damage them. Enemies, however, can also stun you with their damage. Whenever a character or enemy is stunned, any action they would perform that turn is immediately cancelled. Stuns only last for one round, so you can still act on them the next round. 
act on them. I don't know. Instead of immediately attacking, some enemies will use their turn to prepare an attack to use on their next turn. These prepared attacks are very powerful. You can defend against them by selecting the Fortify Coven command in battle. You can also attempt to interrupt these attacks by stunning the enemy after they start preparing. I would have expected a fight at that point. There we go. Let the battle begin! I suppose. Right, so. I don't really see anything in like anything in terms of skills at this point. So if I attack this one constantly, what happens? Now, do they switch? Yeah. Like that one dies to then they yeah. They attack the other one. Okay. Is there any way to speed up the battle? There's gotta be a way, right? Indeed. Still want to increase the volume of the voice acting, though. If I can. Ooh, purifying butterfly. It's like, can I have a menu, please? What did I just press? I don't want to get rid of them. I can say, like, it just disappeared. It's like, I didn't want to get rid of them. What do you say over here? I'll set up camp here, expedition group. Okay. Let the battle begin! Well, this is just a normal attack, so why do we have a random battle yeah. for this? That was easy. Indeed. Right, I'm say, stronger. are they gonna actually level up? I've gotten strong. My training pays off. Yay! No, they've grown again. Have they? Oh. I see. Hello, hello. At the front of the gate, a monster is feasting on dead flesh. Gur -gur -gur the monster screams and rushes at you. Let's get started. Alright, let's see here then. Warning! Okay, so. I don't really see anything in terms of anything special we've got to do. Special orders? We'll go with that. So we've got the reinforcement in the top left. That's what we're using up for this. So let's just use fight. Why is fight better than attack? That's the question. Maybe so. I don't know. There's got to be a way to speed this up, though. If I hold down something... Just gonna spam attack, see what that does. Me next. Yeah. Here I go. We need to heal her up there. Ophid. So let's use Donum. We'll go back with attacking with the rest. You kept you waiting, huh? Here I go. Right there. It's hard to keep a sense of like yeah. what's going on in terms of the actual gameplay here at this point. Right, how do I know it's health? It says unknown at the top at this point, so we don't really know. So let's just go attacks again. Is that it? Is it dead? Nothing's happening, so I assume so. That was easy. Victory! Okay, okay. So we've got the basics going down here. Now we need to get into the actual stuff that would actually be interesting. Salt Peter? Salt Peter. Salt, salt. I don't know. A corpse clings to a piece of paper. A message is scrawled on it. Many hath entered the hell beyond this gate. None hath returned. Fly back from whence she came. Return the slip of paper back where you found it and leave. The corpse clutches a note saying, Turn back. Okay. That's. Oh. I was warned. The brigade... Alright then, page two. The brigade receives damage from the fall. This section seems thick with powerful miasma. You may suffer significant damage if you continue this way. Oh, great. And, and Crowley is down, so what do we do there? 
clearly all intentional, wasn't it? So, I know if we go near this, we get stuff. Oh, is this going to be the lesson of, like, what happens when you die? Yeah. The Witch Brigade, led by Tractus de Monstrum, has fallen. Off in the distance, you hear Lucas' distressed voice. This is the story of a faraway world, where faint traces of magic still linger. A world called Tennis. The mysterious town of Refrain resides there. And deep beneath that isolated and forsaken town lies an unexplored underground labyrinth. Nobody knows who built it, or when it was built. Some say it holds treasures that could control the world, treasures that could make one immortal, and a slumbering demon king whose awakening could end the world. But no one knows for certain. What is known is that the labyrinth is filled with cursed miasma, a substance that brings death to any human it touches. One day, a witch arrived at Refrain with the intention of exploring this labyrinth. Her name was Dusk Witch Dronia. She had in her possession a legendary book, said to have been written by the only man to explore the labyrinth and survive. She had the Tractatus de Monstrum. Oh, it does actually have an intro then. All right. Da 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 da! Welcome, welcome to the dusk of tennis. The dusk. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Huh? What? Are you still asleep? Huh? That's odd. Hmm. Did I make a mistake? Probably. Hello. 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 Oh, you're awake. Nice. Hi there, you lost wandering soul. Did you have a nice dream? Where the hell have we ended up? Is this like Wonderland or something? Uh, is, I don't know what's going on. There's eggs. There's, I don't know. Of course, you can't respond. Not in your condition. What? Anyway, I'm sorry to dump this on you all at once, but I have a very important announcement to make. In just a couple minutes, your soul will vanish. Dun dun dun. What a shocking turn of events! Yeah, it's happened before. You got an ointment for that. <laughs> Surprised, huh? I am too. What? In fact, you probably can't tell, but you don't have a physical form right now. I wondered why I can't see my hands. But it's alright. We'll figure something out. Don't worry about it. I mean, I think I should worry about it. For now, can you just continue along this path? Nope. Well, it's not like you really have a choice right now. Chop chop! Time's a wasting. Let's get moving. Oh yeah! Oh oh yeah! Too happy. The voice said your soul would vanish. Perhaps you should listen to it. Right. So I think this might be a perfect spot to actually end this part. This is a very weird location, isn't it? Very very weird. Right. So yeah, we'll. we'll, we'll End this part here. We'll see you in the next part. Start off for now.